Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This video is a tutorial video for the Radio Master Pocket Radio. We are going to update the firmware in the Express LRS internal module. Now, I noticed with the radio that I received for review, it would not be detected by my computer so that I could update the password for my network. So normally you would be able to put the radio into Wi-Fi mode and then you'll go into your network on your uh, computer um, and your the Wi-Fi connection and you'll be able to see it and then you can click on it and it will then open up your browser so that you could put the your network uh, address and your password so that the module can connect Wi-Fi straight to your network your home network now it wouldn't do it this time so what I did is I flashed the firmware uh, completely using a uh, cable. So we're going to switch over. We're going to, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, we later on can do this. Once the password for our network, our network name and the uh, password is there, we'll be able to do this over the uh, connection. So we just turn our radio, put it into Wi-Fi mode and it will connect and we can then update our firmware. Now also we need to download a Lua script. So I'm going to later on go in and uh, show you where the Lua script is, how we download it, and then we're going to install it onto our SD card of our radio. We can also set up a binding phrase. Now this is a good idea. This will then allow your receiver and your tra uh, transmitter to only connect to each other. So if someone else was at the field and uh, turned their radio on, because they don't know your, your password, binding password, it will not connect to your um, receiver of your model. So this is important. So I'm going to show you how to do this in the video as well. A mistake we can make is that you need to make sure a model is active and within that model that you have turned on the Express LS module so that you can actually use the Lua script. If it's not, if, if there's a model in there and it's not the internal modules off, you will not be able to connect. I'd just like to say one more thing before we get into the video of how to do this. And that is if you're not confident about updating the firm, and I suggest you, you, you leave this until you get a bit more experience with the radio and with Express LRS. Now let's flash the firmware. We're going to go to our Express LRS configurator. I will put in the description below where you're going to get this from. Now you can see if we click on the release, the latest release is 3.3.1. Now this will be the first time that the pocket is included in the configurator. So we now have to go to our device category and we're going to look for Radio Master. Now our device is going to be the pocket. Let's see if we can find it. There it is with the internal module. Express LRS. Right now, as you can see, we have three flashing methods. Later on, we can use Wi Fi, but we first have to get our home network and password on there. So we have to flash first this way to get the password onto there. So there is another way of doing this if you could connect to the Wi Fi, but I did notice with the pocket that when I activated the Wi Fi, my network wouldn't see it. So I think the original time we flash it, we must do it this way through the pass through. So we're going to click that one. Then we are going to leave everything else default. Now I've got my path, my binding phrase in here. That's important because as I said earlier, this will mean it will only bind to our radio and the receivers vice versa. But we're going to click home network, which mine is hidden and our password because we want that on there too. So we can leave the uh, auto Wi-Fi rate on at 60. So we're going to plug our radio in and that's to the top USB-C and we're going to plug it into our computer and we're going to pick USB serial. Okay, now we should be able to click on here and it will be this serial device here, COM3. We click that and then we're going to raise before flash. I'm just going to flash the firmware. So let's go. Now 
Okay, everything is successful. So we can now unplug our radio. And we can run the Lewis script and we can go and see which version we've got. Okay, now before we updated this firmware from the original, the radio that I had, it would say Radio Master Zorro, but now it's saying Pocket. And I've checked the version is 3.3.1. So we've updated the radio now. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to reflash the firmware, but we're going to use the Wi-Fi where the radio is connected directly to my uh, Wi-Fi router in the house. So we're going to go back to the radio. We're going to go to the system. We're going to hit Express LRS. And then we're going to go down to Wi-Fi con connectivity and click and then we're going to enable Wi-Fi. Now this should now link to my network. Now sometimes this works and sometimes I notice this doesn't. So we're going to go back into the Express LRS configurator. So we're going to check 3.3.1. The target, yes, is correct. It's a pocket, it's internal, but we're going to now connect, uh, check, uh, tick Wi-Fi. Uh, we're going to go down, everything else is default, my binding phrase is there, my home network address is SSID, and my password is in there. But you'll notice it hasn't picked up the uh, radio automatically. Sometimes it does, it will appear here. Um, now, if this happens, you can go into your Wi-Fi router and check the radio's IP address. It will be issued an IP address. So I'm not going to show you that because I've had to go into my router settings. But I'm going to go and take a look and get that IP address. Now I've found the IP address that's been issued to the radio. So I'm going to go into manual and I'm just going to type it in. And now if I click flash, it should flash the radio across the network. There's no cable plugged into the radio and as you can see it's working there there we go successful and if you look at your radio you'll notice that the Wi-Fi disconnected once it once it had finished now let's go and download the Lewis script and the Lewis script is a little program that will run on our pocket radio that allows us to access the transmitter, the Express LRS transmitter to make adjustments to it. So we're going to go back to our configurator. You can see, there we go, download. If we click, we're going to save it in downloads. And that should be it. So let's go back to downloads. And there you can see the Lewis script. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the radio in. And then on the front of the screen, I'm going to select storage and click. Now you saw the USB drive pops up here now. So the Lewis scripts will go under scripts, tools, and there you can see there is one already in there, uh, dated the 25th of October. So let's go to download. Let's just grab that. And then go back to the scripts. And then we're going to right click paste. Now this will update the Lua script. So we're going to say yes, replace it. And that is all you need to do to update the Lua. Now let me quickly show you how to launch the Lua script. So we've got the pocket radio. We're going to hit the system button. And you'll see there's the script. It says tools, express LRS. You're going to push enter. And you see it's going to load. Right. And there we go, that's quite handy. You can see it's not loading. Now, we want to find out why. So we're going to hit the return button. There's the model. We're going to hit the model button and we're going to go across. And if we go down, you'll see that the internal module is not on. You need to turn it on. There we go. Okay, if we come back out again now, we go back into the system button. We hit, we go enter on the Express LRS. And now you'll see it would load. And there we go. Now, I'm not going to go into this, but we can make all the adjustments here. We can reduce the power of the transmitter. And when our receiver's connecting, we would be able to 
make the adjustments to the receiver as well. And to exit, we can just hit the return button and there we go. Now we've updated our Express LRS module within our pocket radio, we need to update our receivers. Now I'm going to put a link in the description below to a video that will help you do this. And you just need to go to four minutes and 50 seconds. This uh, video is the same for all Express LRS receivers. And there we go. I do hope you found this video useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to assist you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Thank you.